Heck of a view, that, isn't it? Pretty ship. So you're probably wondering why we're at Orison. Um, I'm wondering why we're at Orison. I don't like this place too much. I guess, well, that's a lie. I don't mind it so much anymore. It used to be a headache. It used to be even worse just to fly into it, but I, I think it's gotten somewhat better. But by and large, we are here to pick up our new ship. Why are we getting a new ship, you ask? Well, if you watched the last episode, you may have noticed that things went kind of wonky. And after a week in the Gatek, we probably could have stayed in it much longer. But I kind of want to just get move into a ship that I used to work on. Um, I set up a poll, gave some information, and the Star Runner somehow won that. Uh, admitted that was kind of my Last personal choice, passengers. but I was leaving Shuttle it up to people. To there wasn't very many votes, but that's kind of expected. Um, Star Runner beat the Cutlass Blackout by about two. Wasn't that big a margin of difference, but it was enough. So we're here picking up our Star Runner. Do you have to come to Orison to do that? Not really, but I felt it was right. Um, we're just up here on the... Uh, Cousin Crow's platform. What's it called? Providence? Something? I think it's Providence. Yeah, Providence. Um, I was mostly getting some components and everything sorted. But we're here, and um, yeah, let's start making our way back towards the spaceport. Need to get the ship delivered whenever that is ready. Uh, Iris will tell me when that is. And. Yeah, get some, maybe buy a storm wall, something for the ship. We're going to have to redecorate. Our just overall plan is to get back to Microtech today, uh, try to get back into that space, but we'll, we'll see how well that goes. Iris, would you say hello to everybody? Welcome them along and um, tell them about our new ship. Good morning, everyone. Welcome aboard our journey with the CBTS Infinite Horizon. We're preparing for an exciting day, starting with picking up our newly upgraded Crusader Star Runner from Orison and moving back to Microtech. Stay tuned for some thrilling adventures. I love how optimistic she is. Thrilling adventures, and, and we'll see about thrilling. There will most certainly be adventures, probably one or two server mishaps us crashing into another vehicle the next shuttle is approaching i don't station. trust these things man approaching next station uh this is your stop please prepare to disembark may i leave please i would like Last to leave please the shuttle is preparing to depart let me leave we don't get to leave i would really like please to leave oh well one despawned we're here it's there. Now we're here. I feel like the server is dying. There's a dude there. Well, you know what? I'm not going to get off this because I'm scared. Uh, somebody send help. Please send help. Oop, that's jumpy. Or slidey. Yeah, I think the servers are about to tank. Hey everybody and we're back. It's like nothing ever happened. Also, why is it negative 12 on this platform? A friendly I, I feel like these people should be a whole lot colder than... Well, he's kind of in a jacket. That dude's just braving it in a t-shirt. I mean... Not quite dressed for the climate. But, uh, yeah. Alright. I still just question why it's negative 12. And 21 in here, that's a heck of a dynamic change. All right, let's go back up to the spaceport. Mr. Ship is ready to pick up before we had our little um, server mishap, but hey, we're here. It's always wonderful when you're like not even, what? I don't think we were four minutes into the server before it just had a little spasm. Should probably um, load up on the PTU, but that just throws everything off. And I already kind of, I kind of want to get back to Microtech now, just so that 
we get everything there and somewhat sorted. So if I do pick up, well, we're not, there's no if, we're going to pick up a storm wall while we're here. But um, we have it there and available when the servers do their reset. That's a pretty view. All right, let's get up here. I want the big one. I don't think we can buy the big one though. We can't buy these guys. I know the ones over here on this side, you can. And I have you? No. Blue, pink, blue. I want the larger one, please. I don't think that's you. Make squeaks. That was nice. All right. Let's try to nab you. Let's go in storage. Thanks. Throw you across the. Pick that up. Carry. There you go. Let's just put him in your inventory. There. Stop throwing the whales, please. Wait. I think we almost had it. Oh, uh, no, it's that one. That's fine. We wanted him anyway. Yoink. Good purchase. Thank you. Can we not throw this one across Crusader? Let me grab it. Thank you. Perfect. Perfect. All right, let's go get our ship. Do we need food? We don't need food. Do we need water? Probably. Do we want to go to Elroy's? Most certainly not. Uh, beacon suit, dude. Bottles everywhere. Welcome to the Aesop. Places need to hire better janitors. That's the saber. I don't want the saber. Give me quest delivery. Watch it come out claimed or something. Nope, it's here. Vehicles, your vehicle Presumably. Hangar 20. All right. Let's go find Hangar 20. Way down in the list. All right. So as we get to the ship, let's see, we should probably think of grabbing something to go back to Microtech. Uh, let's see if Iris can help. She's currently on a development build now, so bugs with her may abound, but I doubt it. She's kind of been behaving. All right, let's see. Iris, what commodity can we take from Crusader to Microtech? And please make sure there it is not an illegal commodity and it is not recycled material. So here's our ship. I actually really enjoyed working on this thing. She was fun. I know she's in a bit of a state right now, but I don't have any impact over that anymore. You can transport gold from Shuban SCD one on Daymar Crusader to TDD New Babbage, Microtech. This route offers a profit of 120,156 UEC with a cargo of 76 SCU. Well, we know what we're going to attempt, but I doubt gold is going to be available and there might be campers around that uh, specific facility, but hey, we'll give it a shot. Also, our serial number has changed. This used to start with a, a PP, now it's an RI. I did change the name of the ship though, so that might've did it, um, that might've changed the serial. Or it's just regenerating on every load, but the, or that would be weird. All right, let's get inside. She should be running the blue and blackish paint. That is just mostly to match Centurion Bioengineering's trade division colors. We're never going to use that elevator. I don't know why it's there. I argued against this thing. I mean, aesthetically, it's fine, but I mean, I don't use it. I don't know any player that actually uses it. It's just 
infinitely quicker to vault that and just climb up the wall. All right, we'll worry about ship tour and all that fun stuff when we get to Microtech. Right now, I just kind of want to get out of Orison. Let's hop in. And let's uh, see if this finally works again. Iris, uh, start the ship, please. Maybe. The ship is ready for departure. Hmm. She did it, but that was major del majorly delayed. Also, this is on. Hmm. Okay. Well, she's definitely stock. The, the, the nose should be M5s. I wonder what happened. Maybe they're on Microtech. Could be on Microtech, but why was it? Hmm. You see, I bought upgrades for this ship uh, a couple days ago. I've had it in the hangar for a little bit. But something happened and I had to claim it twice and now it was deliverable. And now it's back in default st status, which is okay for our series. It's fine, but... Uh, I want to know what happened to my 560,000 UEC worth of a components. That is a very important question for me. We'll find it. Maybe. All right. It's just UEC anyway. It's not worth getting attached to it. Iris, start the engines, please. Hey, she did it. Sweet. Engines are powered on and ready. Request departure from Orison, please. Let's go ahead and get ourselves situated. Departure requested from Orison. We are clear to leave. So on average, it takes her about two seconds to get the request. It takes her about another second to run it. So she's about three and a half, four seconds behind right now. Um, I need to make sure if I have output streaming turned on or off because that does impact her performance a little bit. All right, those doors are open enough. Let's go. And that little wiggle that happens. Get ourselves pitched up and out of here. You know what? I should have checked to make sure knickknacks on Orison didn't have It's fine. If I have to come back here at some point, I'll do that off camera, I think. All right, we'll just come out and do a car, uh, pickup run. Who knows? Uh, yeah, she, cause she's not even running the right paint right now. That's fine. It's just like we just picked her up legitimately. And I didn't have her for like three or four days. Name's there. CBTS Infinite Horizon. All right, let's uh, see if we can't get to... What did she say? S... CD dash one on Daymar. SCD dash one Daymar. It is obstructed until we get into atmosphere, and that's unpleasant. Let's tilt up. Let's go ahead and get the quantum drive going. Let's get out of here a little bit faster. Actually, we're at 9,000. We should be able to leave here soon. And what did I just say? SCD-1? Yep, there it is. All right, cool. 21 seconds. Let's kill our speed. There's those aligned. And boop. That was... Glitchy. That was, um, that was certainly a thing. What the hell happened there? All right. Anyway. To Daymar. I really like Daymar. Don't get to go there as much as I normally would like, but I don't tend to stay on this side of space very much.
know, Microtech's just kind of home. It's going to more or less be permanent home, at least until we probably get other um, systems that aren't pyro. Uh, unlike a lot of people, I'm not as excited for pyro as some tend to be, but it had its issues when um, the Citizen Gun play test for it. It had some serious issues in that it, it almost seems unworth it to take the time to get to Pyro for the lack of security that is in Pyro. And I know there's people who are going to argue against that, but at the same time, if you're taking 40 minutes to get to a place with another about 15 to 20 minutes of time, you're already basically an hour in just to get there and get destroyed or something with absolutely no punishment on the other side. Like there's nothing to stop any incentive of doing that, which just means most people aren't going to go to pyro. In my experience, a majority of these pl the players in this game are not necessarily PvP players. They just kind of want to exist and play a game. Not to say that the PvP people don't have their place and it'll be great for them there, but eh. we'll see. If it actually has some security and it's a little bit more reasonable or it's just the punishment system is worth it, then maybe. And that is my hot take on Pyro. All right, we're just about moving at that speed anyway, so we're just gonna cut back to SCM just so we have shields. We're lit up like a Christmas tree, so I mean, people are gonna see us long before we see them, but what I can tell, it's just a bunch of empty ships. There are a lot of people here though, so I doubt we're gonna be picking up gold. So, and I mean, there's a lot of people here. So instead, what's likely going to happen is I'm going to end up asking, I'm probably just going to look to see what else is available that isn't gold. Or I should say there was a lot of people here and there isn't a whole lot of people here now. I don't think there's a single actually active person down here. Also sucks. We got the day at night. Turn on lights so I can presumably see. Uh, we'll go ahead and lower the landing gear. I'm going to try to squeeze onto this pad there's a couple other things here but we're not that big so i think we can just kind of good news is there's two things on here that are relatively small so let's pop underneath the web floating Landing. weapon Complete. park next to him we're a little bouncy rear end's probably off the back i could have had iris do that figured i'd just do it myself Iris, we're at SCD-1. What is for sale here? Let me out. Ooh, hold on. Before we hop off, can we get back on? Because I might need to go move the ship. Oh yeah, we're definitely... We're definitely moving. We're park, We're moving forward a little bit. Let's just go do that real fast. And, uh... Yeah. Iris, turn off the engines, please. Engines are powered off. If you're wondering, um, we were a little bit too close to the edge. There was no uh, getting out of the ship, so I just peened back up here real quick just to move the ship. We're now parked right in between the uh, Aurora and whatever the other thing to our right is. I haven't really got a good look at it yet. We might have just done it again, though. Ah, oh, no, we're definitely... Yeah, this is, this is better. I can get on this. That works. Perfect. I mean, she's a little barely on on the left foot, but that, that's fine. I mean, I'll take it. We're like two and a tenth on the pad, but hey, I get to squeeze closer to the aura. Oh, it's a little, um, Moderately damaged Scorpius out here. 
I want to know what all this was, because clearly there was something here. All right, let's go find, not necessarily, a couple fighters down here. Something definitely blew up. All right, let's go see if we can. I'm not really looking for gold. I'm, uh, hey, it looks X1. If we can get it, that's fine. But I'm technically looking for just about anything we can run back. That's assuming we can get inside this building and also assuming I picked the right building, but we're here. So we may as well like look for loot boxes if I didn't. Would you pressurize, please? Thank you. Hey, I did pick the right building. Any, any box, any box? There is a box. Open. Thank you. Uh, Link's legs. Uh, you know what? They can go, uh, they can go in the local. If I remember to pick them up, I will. If I don't, I don't. I'm not missing out on those. All right. Star Runner, I also need to pay attention to this because I need to update UEX. Uh, barrel is very low. Gold is out of stock. We can take Barrel, I think. Iris, can we trade Barrel at Microtech? Somebody's shooting, I think. And if they're shooting our ship, which they are. Barrel can indeed be traded at Microtech. You can buy it from locations like Shubin SCD1 and sell it at TDD New Babbage for 2549 AUEC. I don't necessarily know what they're shooting at though. Could be the Aurora. Could be me. Let's go see. Up. Up. Should have put in five A's on the front, but that's fine. It's uh this side? This side. Now we're on. Oh, it's an NPC and I can't do anything because we're in an armistice zone. <laughs> good move, CIG, good move. Well, the good news is by and large, we should be okay. Um, maybe. If I had the proper lowdown on the ship, would be even more okay. But let's go take off, fly away a little bit, turn around, try to blow up a stupid NPC, and then, uh, yeah, so our life right now. All I wanted to do was buy some barrel. Has he even punctured his shield snow? All right, um, engines. All right. So we need to take this little party. So we need to take this little party away enough to get out of Armistice. Which may have been maybe there? I don't know. There's definitely an argument for me just parking and putting this on the... Uh... Oh god, we're, we've got Panthers. This is going to take a minute. Hold down the button. 
wonder if he has anything on him. I doubt it. Panthers are really bad, by the way. Uh, I don't know if anybody's told you this. But, um, not the best. Not, not the best at all. I guess they're kind of good on fighters and stuff, but... Stop trying to ram me. That's the only thing. We are floaty. That's better. How long does it take to kill a cutlass? Panthers. How many times have we hit this guy? Sir, would you die, please? This is taking entirely too long. Thank you. Corpse just kind of floating here. It's very inconvenient to loot you, you know. Oh, well, that works. Thank you. I don't think you had anything in you. Did your pirate fall? Or pirate? Did your pilot fall out? Uh, let's see. I don't see him. I'd grab him for the gear if I if I could, but I don't see him. He'd be up in that mess if anything. All right, let's uh. That's a bunch of landed people. That's the way we want to go. All right, let's head back this way. All right. I already checked that box. Hey. Hey, what's going on? All right. So, hey, barrel went up since we were out playing around. Ooh, there's enough gold for us to buy, I think. We're never going to be able to sell it, but we can definitely buy it. 18 SEU of it? Sure. That's basically all of our money. Do I have enough money to mix inventories? No, maybe. I'll buy 46 a barrel. I don't have that much money. There's no way. Oh, I know what I need to do. How much money do I have? 5,000. Ah, we're not going to buy anything. We'll just take the gold and probably never be able to sell it. Something's doing something. Get back in here. Why does it sound like your engines are on, even though I know they're off? Make the little jump. Almost over jump it. Turn around. Close that. Get up here. I guess it would have been a good time to actually use Iris in like a combat situation, but I don't tend to use her in a combat situation. I'm faster than an AI generally will be. Um, there are sub commands that she can do for me, but I wasn't too worried about it. If I use her for anything, it's usually shield management. Uh, okay, let's get the iris turn on the engines, please. Engines are powered on and ready. Raise landing gear, please.
Landing gear retracted. All right, let's get ourselves back to New Babbage. It's going to be a long flight. I am not going to make you guys sit through it like normal. We'll just kick back, listen to some music or something, and uh, I'll just speed it up. But for now, we're still going to get there. Let's get away from Daymar. Da, 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 da. We are going to New Babbage, which is going to be a long flipping flight because we're on a stand 13 minutes and 18 seconds. That is longer than the idle timeout. Oh, Lord. All right. Let's get ourselves angled. Go to OM1. Warning, torque and balance. Uh, okay, whatever. I'm fairly sure we're okay. Iris, initiate the quantum jump to Microtech, please. Quantum jump to Microtech initiated. All right, everybody. I'll see you in like 13 minutes. Okay. Hello, everybody. So why am I talking to you while we're flying to Microtech? Well, this is a... We get to Microtech and just about everything that could go wrong does go wrong. And Freya is meowing at me. If you can hear that, so say hi to Freya. Um, you know, sorry. <laughs> Basically, we couldn't land. It wouldn't give us a pad. Just ATC was broken. Tried to go in through the planetary entrance beneath ATC. That, was, that elevator was broken. So went to the other area and that's where I'm dropping the video. So basically we just ran to the other garage that's underneath the commons area and we're, we're there now. So enjoy. All right, let's see. Garages are that way. I need elevators, please. See if anything inside New Babbage works. Commons. Hey, it worked. Uh, I want the commons, please. All right, let's go see if we can actually get rid of this gold from here. I don't know if it's going to consider that if it's in a uh, New Babbage or not. Oh, before I do that though, let's let's double check. So if I go to, uh, let's see, I need items actually, not that one. I need this one. Other. There's two of our penguins. We already have one. Of, we have one of the storm walls, but I just didn't want to use him since we were already at Orison. FAC golden ticket, just hanging out in there. Uh, vehicles. Bunch of missiles in there. Deadbolt, Tiger Strike Gatling, Night Runner livery. It'll be better. It'll, it'll be easier to check what I need if I can actually do it on the ship, so that'll just have to wait. But we definitely set out with one goal for this whole session and we didn't really even get to that yet you know in theory it should be it should see the runner right because it's closer to TDD than it is over on the landing pads so yeah we're gonna go see if we can sell this at the very least and then we'll decide from there Or if it even just reads it. Uh, Star Runner. I can sell all 18. Okay, good. We made our money back. So something went right. All right. We made our money back. We got the gold off there. So what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to go back, try to see if I can't store the ship. Then I'm just going to kind of check it and make sure everything's there. I won't outfit it until our next video and kind of get that up and running and that'll be our official move in. So, uh, yeah, Iris say goodbye to everybody. Goodbye everyone. May your adventures be exciting and your days filled with wonder. We're thrilled you joined us and can't wait to see you next time. Take care. And with that, I will see you all next time. Later. <laughs>